The moment Ukrainian troops took out Russian tanks in another ambush after using anti-tank missiles to lethal effect. After President Vladimir Zelensky claimed that 500 of Vladimir Putin's troops had surrendered in a single day on Thursday. Dramatic footage of the ambush, the second in three days. Reports to show at least one Russian tank and one armored personnel carry a hit by missiles fired from behind the cops of trees. Video posted online shows what appears to be Russian troops running across the road into a field and having to take cover after one of the convoy was obliterated. A second video purports to show a flaming Russian tank driving down a road after being hit while separate footage reveals one of Moscow's armored vehicles allegedly being destroyed in an aerial strike. It appears to be Ukrainian forces' second successful ambush of Russian vehicles in three days, after a column of tanks was filmed getting picked off one by one while driving down the middle of the main road leading into Kiev. Experts have said they are baffled by the display of ineptitude of the tactics displayed by Putin's forces in recent days as by multiple counts. Moscow's forces have lost more tanks than are operational in the entire German army. Analysts on Friday warned that Russian tank commanders had effectively allowed the Ukrainians to ambush their unit by driving down the middle of the main road leading into Kiev and straight into a death trap. The devastating artillery strikes came as Putin's troops inched closer to Kiev and saw a number of Russian T-72 tanks and other vehicles destroyed or routed in a surprise attack from the front and back of the convoy. The Ukrainian forces surprised the column that included some 30 tanks and support units, as well as a fearsome Tus-1 thermobaric launcher, forcing survivors to flee and left Russia mourning the loss of another senior commander. Ukraine's masterful ambush in bravery piled on the misery of Moscow's invading forces, which has suffered more losses than expected and are now facing freezing temperatures in the coming days. Morale is said to be low. While reports said Russia's 6th Tank Regiment escaped with relatively minimal casualties, Russian Commander Colonel Andrei Zakharov was reportedly killed, and his unit forced into a retreat. The smoldering wrecks of Russian tanks lay on streets after the fighting. Franz Stefan Gady, an analyst at the International Institute for Strategic Studies, said the fight shows the danger of not securing urban terrain with adequate infantry plus recon. Assets when main elements of a force pass through urban terrain ideally suitable for ambushes. Ron Lee, a senior fellow and military expert at the Foreign Policy Research Institute, commented on the ambush, saying the Russian armored force displayed very poor tactics. The Russian column was on an obvious avenue of approach, and they still decided to bunch up like this, leaving them more vulnerable to indirect fire, he wrote on Twitter, while sharing drone footage of the strikes. Of the Russian military activities in Ukraine, a former British Army commander told the Daily Telegraph on Friday, this is not the Russian army we train to fight. Meanwhile, analysis by the Austrian military's R&D department demonstrated the column was part of a larger Russian battle tactical group. The 
the analysis highlighted different companies within the BTG seen in the drone footage, as it came under Ukrainian heavy artillery guided by an unmanned aerial vehicle, UAV. The analysis showed that the tank column was comprised of Russian BMP-1S, Soviet amphibious landing vehicles, Soviet Aero T-72 tanks, BTR-82 armored personnel carriers and Actus one Buratino, the thermobaric launcher. Two vehicles were destroyed in the fighting, but the analysis said others were likely damaged by the strikes. The full scale of losses suffered by Putin's armies are unknown, but Ukraine has claimed it has destroyed over 12,000 troops, 350 tanks, 80 helicopters, 125 artillery units, 1,150 personnel carriers and almost 60 planes. Figures based on visual confirmations by military tracking website Oryx suggest over 1,000 Russian vehicles have been destroyed, damaged, abandoned or captured in the war. According to Oryx's figures as of March 11th, Russia has lost 1,034 vehicles, of which 424 were destroyed, 13 were damaged, 159 were abandoned by Russian troops and 438 were captured by Ukraine's forces. While there is some discrepancy between figures detailing visually confirmed Russian vehicle losses released by Oryx and those released by Ukraine's defense officials, both paint a grim picture for Moscow's armies. Oryx says its figures are based on photo or videographic evidence. Therefore, the amount of equipment destroyed